Blessings to you, child of God. Blessings to you, family. This is God's word, Lady Risa, and I welcome you all in Jesus' name. God says you're full. You're about to receive a message, a notification in that phone that will mark a turnaround in your life. This is just to confirm what the Lord has, has laid in your spirit about the change that is coming. You see, sometimes we feel that because everybody wants a better life, because everybody wants a good life, the same feeling you have is the same with the one they have. But what you have been experiencing is the Spirit of God telling you that there is a change that is coming and it's going to be a great and positive change. And that is the word that the devil has been attacking. The devil has been attacking this word in your life so much. You are the stage in your life where you are you're facing a lot of depression. Sometimes you feel stranded. You just want to be alone. You don't want to relate with anyone and you just easily get angry you've become so emotional about so many things you're actually broken and the devil wants to keep you in that stage so that you don't receive what god has planned for you what god has prepared for you but his plans will fail in the name of jesus his plans will backfire in the name of jesus whatever the lord has planned for you you will receive it whatever the lord has prepared for you you will receive it whatever the lord has kept for you you will move into it you will take it in the name of jesus christ the bible says that with joy with joy shall you draw from the wells of salvation you know what the bible the devil is fighting the devil is not fighting your money he's not fighting your relationship he's not fighting your job he is fighting what will give you that money, what will give you that relationship, what will give you that job. Let me give you an example. Considering that there is a house, a big house, and God has kept all of your blessings in that house. These blessings include your marriage, your money, your job, your, your business. All of your blessings are in that house. But the house is locked and there is a lock on the door. What do you need in order to enter that house and receive what God has prepared for you? You need a key. You need a key. And what is that key? That's what I'm about to show you. When you activate this key, nothing can stop you from receiving your blessing. Nothing at all. The Bible says that. The Bible says. The Bible says that we joy. With joy shall you draw from the wells of salvation. That is the key. So that key is called joy. You remember what salvation is? Being saved. Saved from poverty. Saved from sickness. Saved from pain. Saved from challenges. Saved from tribulation. Being saved. And God is saying that everything you need to be saved it's inside the house that we have in our illustration. But you need a key to open that house and receive it. And that key is called joy. And that is why the devil mostly attacks your mind. He, he makes you feel like you're not good enough. He makes you feel like you cannot do it. He makes you feel like you, cannot, you are not capable to fulfill the assignment. He makes you feel like you, your hopes are in vain. He makes you feel like everything is going to go wrong. When he makes you feel that way, the next thing is that you get sad, you get depressed, and, and you're, you're thinking. That's, that's what leads to, 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 to suicide. The devil is not powerful, but he has schemes, he has tricks, so he tricks you into depression so that he can use your own power to destroy you. But that will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. His plans are exposed and destroyed over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. With joy. This is what you have to do. I was sharing with someone today who came for counseling. And let me share with you, this will help you greatly. Before you go to bed every night, write down three things you are grateful for. Let it not be the same stuff every day. Make sure that you are conscious about counting your blessings, looking for the blessings. 
why am i saying this whatever you focus on magnifies whatever you focus on grows so focus on the good things that are happening and more good things will happen focus on god and you will not even notice the challenge write down three things you can write lord i'm grateful for my health lord i'm grateful for this uh, for the prophetic message i heard today it has helped me in this way lord i'm grateful for my colleagues the next day lord i'm grateful for my children lord i'm grateful for my husband lord i'm grateful for this open door lord i'm grateful for life you know begin to get things and try your best that in seven days you have three separate things you're grateful for what is that going to do it's going to make you more optimistic optimistic and it's going to increase your faith and believe in god and when that happens i tell you nothing you desire will escape your hands you will see how your life will take a completely different turn and you will be so happy it is your decision it is your decision wake up every day and decide to be happy the bible says i have placed before you life and death it says choose life that you may live Sometimes when you wake up and you're feeling broken, put on a praise song and dance to it. With joy shall you draw. Whatever you're trusting God for, he will use the instrument of that phone in your hand to bring your blessing. In the name of Jesus. There will be a call, there will be an email, there will be a, a message, there will be a confirmation. There is a confirmation that is coming for you. When the moment you stumble on it, you're going to know that it's God. It happened to me a few days ago and someone just sent a message and like this 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 i said yes i said okay i'm in i want us to work together it just came as a message just like that your 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 breakthrough will come in that way i pray that the lord will bless you i pray that the lord will lift you i pray that the lord will change your story for good i pray that the lord will draw you closer to him i pray that the lord will help you to trust him i pray that the lord will increase you i pray that the lord will multiply what you have i pray that the lord will be with you in the mighty name of jesus if you are being blessed by the information um and the, the word of god the prayers on this ministry you can be a part of us just by liking commenting sharing connecting yourself to every word in every way you can so that this word can reach out to as more people as possible now may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you may the lord look kindly on you and may he grant you his peace join us to share the word of god around the world just clicking on this video and sharing it with someone you love Share, share it on a social media platform and encourage people to like. The Lord bless you. Shalom.